Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Hope you guys enjoyed my last videos that I did yesterday and the day before. If not, then comment, let me know what I did wrong. Hopefully you liked them. Like Anyways, today is going to be a pretty natural and boring look, but as you can see, I'm in uniform, so can't do anything spontaneous or fun like I did yesterday. According to US Army regulation, you have to have your makeup complement your skin tone and your uniform, so it can't be anything too crazy. It's going to be like natural colors. Um, if it stands out too much, then it's, you know, not allowed. Um, even though I work with females that wear their makeup definitely crazy and their hair definitely crazy and they don't get told shit, but you know, we still gotta try to follow our regulation as much as we can. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna show you what I do every day, mostly every day for my uniform look. So as always, we're gonna start with moisturizing our face with Mary Kay's moisturizer, priming our face with Mary Kay's primer and our Toner. Well, it's gonna go moisturizer, toner, and then primer. So I'm gonna do that off camera because you guys already have seen me do it a thousand times. All right, now of course we're gonna go in with our concealer and we're just gonna cover our blemishes that we got going on. Alright, so I very rarely wear foundation in uniform because I don't really see a reason to, you know, look super good, you know. But I do want to try my uh, Mary Kay Mineral Foundation Powder without a liquid foundation underneath it. So I thought today would be a good day to do that. So I'm going to show you guys how it, how it looks um, without the liquid foundation. So oh, it looks really good. It does do the job and it still looks super smooth. I am loving it. So they're not crazy today. The dogs are not crazy today, but they're still gonna bother the crap out of me. They're not crazy because I brought them to the dog park this morning. Of course, they still have to bother me. Ah, oh, papas. Come here, you wanna be in the video? Come here, come here. You wanna be in the video? Oh, what a good boy, what a good boy. Maybe we should paint your nails. We can do a video of painting your nails. He's like, hell no, mom. Blue? You want blue? Oh, yeah, see that? <laughs> All right, let's go. Yeah. All right, next we're gonna go in with our eyebrows. As always, liner first, tint next. And I will say it a thousand more times, I'm obsessed with this tint. So freaking good. I don't even need the liner, but I still do it. Cause I feel like I should. Maybe I should try it without the without the liner today. No, because I'm not trying to mess up and be late for it. All right, so while I'm doing the rest of my makeup, I'm going to put on my satin lips, the sugar, uh, Shea Sugar Scrub, um, and let that sit and like soak in while I'm doing my eyes and stuff. All right, now let's get with my concealer around my eyebrows. Uh, that's all done. We're gonna put a little. I'm gonna put a little bit of contour and the uh, concealer um, on off camera, and then I'll show you how I do the blush. All right, now we got this crazy look going on. I'm gonna blend this all together and then come back to you. My dogs have been too quiet this entire time. 
you ever wonder like what's going on when your kids or your dog are too quiet and you're just like mm, something's gotta be going on here because it's never like this because so i'm like sitting here like i see them they're laying down they're being good but sometimes i'm just like it's too quiet in here y'all gotta be up to some mischief <laughs> All right, now that, now that that's all blended in, I'm gonna show you the blush. How we do it, the blush. All right, I'm gonna be using Rogue Rose today by Mary Kay. Um, yesterday I used Wineberry and that one was a little dark. It was good, I really liked it. I like both of them, but Wineberry was definitely darker and it um, doesn't complement the uniform as well. So this one, uh, Rogue Rose is a lot more lighter and it's probably gonna look better here. So I got my blush brush and my Rogue Rose. I'm gonna put this in my Pro palette and get it on my face. All right, so now I'm gonna do a highlighter and like I said in my last video, uh, the Anastasia highlighter is my favorite and it gl glows, it pops more than the Mary Kay highlighter. But since I'm in uniform, I don't want to be standing out. I don't want it to pop too much or, you know, throw off the uniform. So I'm going to be using Mary Kay's uh, glazed highlighter today and it is still going to pop and it's still gonna look good, but it's not gonna be as drastic as um, Anastasia's highlighters normally would. So I don't know which one. Oh, hi Diablo. What's up, buddy? Hey. Um, what did I say? You, you lost my train of thought. You lost my train of thought. I don't know which uh, highlighter I used the other day, but this one is actually really good and popping. This one's glazed by Mary Kay. I don't know which one I used the other day, but this one's really nice. And it still will complement my uniform and it still looks good. But it's really nice. I like it. I like it. I love it. All right, so now we're going to get started with the eyeshadow. And I already got my Pro Palette all, all laid out here. I got Biscotti in the corner. I got Soft Heather in the middle. I got Dusty Rose. And then uh, down here I have Rose Gold. And I put it down there because I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use it or not. It might be a little too shiny. Um, I can still wear it and it'll be fine, but I'm not sure if I want to. That's the thing. Because I work on the gates. Um, here on base and like I greet everyone coming in and everything so I don't want you know people to make comments because even if it is in regulation some people will still make a comment like you know, you know you're not supposed to wear all that or blah blah blah, blah. because that's just what people like to do all right now I'm gonna get started with basing my entire eyelid up to my brow bone with biscotti Next, I'm gonna take Soft Tether and I'm gonna apply that to the crease of my eyelid. And I'm just gonna go in a back and forth, like swifting um, movement. I'm actually gonna zoom in for you because it's kind of hard to see because it's such a natural and uh, light color. Next, I'm gonna apply Dusty Rose and I'm gonna put that all over the outer lid here. I'm gonna do it in like a circular motion and kind of bring it up and in a little bit, but not all the way into the inner eyelid. Next, we're going to take a smaller brush like this, and we're going to spray it with some setting spray, and then we're going to put some rose gold on it, and we're going to put it in the center of our eyelid. I've decided I am going to use it, and just give it a little pop, but not too much of one. Pretty sure I've said it before in a few of my other videos, but halfway through like doing my makeup, I decide last minute, I'm gonna do something else. So that's why I was supposed to do the ro rose gold in the middle, but I ended up doing it in the inner corner to the middle. So I think it looks a lot better and I don't have to do. All right, lastly, as always, I'm just gonna take um, a small brush, set it with some setting spray. You can use water, by the way. I just don't wanna get up, I'm lazy. And I honestly think it 
stays better if you just set your brush with some setting spray and it wets it so it works. Um, I'm just gonna take some biscotti, just a little bit, and I'm gonna throw that in the inner corner. And I had a video of me in fast motion putting the biscotti on my inner corner of my eye, but I accidentally deleted it. So I put everything back into it from my Pro Palette away. And now I am going to go through and I'm gonna clean it up. I don't think I'm gonna use concealer to clean everything up. I'm just gonna kind of go in with a brush and just, you know, blend it all together and make it make it work, make it pop. So I ended up, as I was cleaning, I ended up bringing it down to my lower lash line because it kind of just like works together. It works better that way. So, heck yeah. All right, now we're gonna go through with some mascara, and then we're gonna go on the lips, and then we should be done with this look. All right, so this is uh, a new product that I have not used yet. It's Mary Kay's lip gloss called Cafe Olate. Olate. I have no idea how to say it. I'm just gonna call it Cafe. I'm gonna use this one. It's a natural color, or well, a neutral color, and. It shouldn't pop too much, and it's a lip gloss. I don't know how they stayed yet. By the way, the lip tint that I used yesterday was freaking phenomenal, stayed on, it was so good, it looked so cute, it didn't smudge, didn't come off on anything. I loved it. I will say the lipsticks, I, well, okay, I've only used one of the lipstick. I didn't really care for it. It came off really quickly right away. So, I'm, I don't know, I have to use the other ones, but that one that I did use, I didn't care for. So let's see how the lip gloss works. Lip gloss, I'm not usually a fan of um, on other products, but we shall see. And lastly, we're just gonna set the entire look with some setting spray. All right, guys, this is the finished look and I'm really happy with how it all came out. As you can see, it looks natural, it complements the uniform, it doesn't stand out like out of place. Um, it's not drastic, it's not crazy. My eyes are natural colors, nothing too shiny, nothing too crazy. So this is in regulation look in the US Army. So what do you guys think?